So sound poetry is a form, so focus on sound. So it's a it's a kind of a poetry, but it's something I regard it as a, a intermediate between poetry and music. And it's it doesn't mean poetry plus music. So it's a something in between. And it, it, the meaning is not so important and uh, it's focused on sound. Quite limited people can write music, but you can write poetry. And it, it's an important aspect of Dadaism. Everyone can do it. The big difference uh, between sound poetry and, for example, singing. In singing, so it's based on pitch and it's a traditional form of music. Also, in singing, you can divide word part and music part, but in sound poetry, you cannot divide it. So it's really the in between music and the literature. I started uh, using my voice and uh, I felt, for example, the I hate the vocal music actually and after that so I started to use voice as a kind of instrument itself actually I found the tradition what what is the tradition of this kind of practice and this kind of attitude for voice and I found the tradition of sound poetry and still I think it's a quite important aspect of sound poetry is it's open for many people. It's still poetry and uh, for example I organized a choir by myself and it was based on the tradition of sound poetry. Everyone can perform together. So it's a still socially there is some meaning. Yes, actually I tried many instruments, musical instruments at first. And then I thought voice is the most interesting instrument. I like to work with the history and the history of voice performance is existing inside inside sound poetry. So it is the reason so I I discover I started to discover it. It's quite easy to f found, find a new sound with voice because still it's a it's the oldest instrument. At the same time, still we have many possibilities on it. Some people really hate what I'm doing. People think my performance is a, a kind of too aggressive, too much provocative. Yes, but I, actually I don't care so much about their opinion. And so what I'm doing is a quite a new experience. And also I like to provide a new experience for them. And I'm happy so they, if they like this the newness, I could connect the idea of sound poetry with the dance. And now I'm talking something and my hand is moving. And what is this gesture? 
it was a question and, and I like I I tried to uh, integrate and uh, this movement and gesture and my voice in in the same uh, performance <laughs> I don't like technical competition, you know, so if I play piano, if I play violin, so people compare with other performers and it's not interesting idea, it's not artistic idea, and, but if I play my own instrument, so it's original one and it is the same thing I am using my voice so a voice you could compare vocal technique but actually voice is my own thing so there is no meaning so if you compare with technically you cannot compare with other people and it's uh, rather it allows people to approach the essence of art. So maybe now already you cannot listen to what I'm saying, but it is an important thing. So now I'm writing later and now I'm speaking. So what is this connection? So this is a conceptual idea of this piece. And even I don't hear anything if you don't understand anything of what I'm talking. <laughs> Actually, it's a process. I'm doing. A, I'm making a kind of process. Uh, actually, the beginning and the ending is uh, almost same always. But I tried to find a new path uh, to here. To, so beginning and end is the same. But so we can make many routes. And also important thing of that charts census charts is uh, I can still I cannot control well so I can lose my control and it means so that instrument bring me to there or here so I'm not play yep. And I go to there, and but I must go back here. So how I can find that that route? And um, yes, it is a kind of improvisation, but it's also just something like a walking. Also, I, I like the idea of uh, that it is a funny performance. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit strange, and it should have something humorous. I, w I want to have some humor or wit performance but of course conceptually it's quite serious I'm seriously thinking about how you can find meaning from sound yes but at the same time it's a uh, it's strange and uh, and I hope it could be entertainment in some way Thank you very much.